Hi everyone, I'm Brian with The Reporting Hub. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Power BI Embedded, but more importantly, why you should care about Power BI Embedded. So let's jump in. Okay, so Power BI Embedded and, and why you should care. So obviously if you're watching this video, you are interested in Power BI Embedded in the first place. So you, you obviously have some idea of what it can do and, and uh, maybe what you want to use it for. Now the biggest issue with Power BI Embedded historically is it's been very difficult to deploy, it's very time consuming, you need to be a developer or you need to hire developers to implement it because really it's just uh, you know it's just a bunch of code from Microsoft. It's, a, it's an SDK uh, series of APIs that lets you take Power BI and embed it within an existing application. Now maybe you thought well hey you know I'm not a I'm not an app developer or I don't have an application so I don't really need to worry about it and that may have been true you know historically but there's a ton of things we can do with Power BI embedded to improve how we deliver Power BI uh, the overall opportunity of Power BI and scaling it and making it more accessible and enabling the delivery of Power BI. So there's a ton of different things we can use it for to really you know, enhance the, the overall experience of the Power BI platform. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. We're gonna to focus on what are some common use cases that we see all the time that we wanna share with you so that you can get some ideas and thought starters of maybe how you could use it. So there's predominantly two main use cases that we see you know, over and over again. Really, the, the first one we'll call analytics as a service, and that's what we like to call it. And really what that is is that's an organization or you know, maybe an individual or a, a consultant or a startup maybe who has a analytics offering. So they've got, you know, their secret sauce or their IP is in the, you know, the taking data, formulating insights, and then making that available through, through a report or through a data visualization uh, and using Power BI to do that. And where historically Power BI falls short in that is the delivery. So you can, you know, create amazing visually stunning solutions with Power BI and, and, and kind of package that up from an analytics standpoint. But how do you take that and deliver it to an external customer base or to your, your customers that maybe you want to productize this as a solution? Maybe you want to you know go to market with this as a solution, but you need a platform in which to do that. Now, Power BI Embedded has always been available to do this, but again, the challenges are, are you know, for a lot of people are overwhelming. If you're if you're really great in Power BI, it doesn't mean you're necessarily going to be a developer and you can you know you can implement a Power BI embedded solution. And that's where the reporting hub comes in with Power BI embedded is it allows you to simply plug and play all the benefits of Power BI uh, embedded without any code. You don't have to be a developer. You can simply just install the solution, get up and running with your own web portal to deliver your analytics as a service to your customers. The second use case that we see a lot of is what we'll, we'll call uh, the, the enterprise organization or the enterprise use case. And that's really going to be your, you know, your large enterprise style organizations that need the ability to scale the delivery of Power BI while managing and centralizing the governance of you know who has access to what, who can see what, you know, who get who shares what report to whom. All those kind of things are challenging, you know, for just using the Power BI service or app.powerbi.com. The common challenges there are, you know, it's a self-serve tool. It is by nature a decentralized tool. So it's really easy for anybody to go and build something and share it with somebody else, assuming they have a license. Now, the problem there is, how do I govern that as a large organization? How do I control who sees what? Um, or what if I wanna scale the delivery to hundreds or maybe thousands of users, and what if a bunch of those users aren't in my organization? They're actually external to my Microsoft tenant. They have their own domains. They have their own tenant, Microsoft tenants, but I still wanna share with them. So that's another really common use case that we can, you know, that Power BI Embedded is amazing for, is that we can use it as a delivery platform for our enterprise to be able to share, you know, at, at scale with individuals that aren't in our organization. So those are the common use cases that we, we typically see for Power BI Embedded. Now, hopefully that gave you some ideas how you can use it. Hopefully that 
gave you some thought starters of maybe, you know, maybe you're doing something similar or maybe you have a potential use case where you could leverage Power BI Embedded. And in the past, maybe that was too difficult. Maybe that was too time consuming. Maybe that, you know, wasn't something that was really in the cards. Well, it is now. It is because tools like the reporting will make it easy. It's a, you know, you can just simply install the application. You know, it's a turnkey plug and play solution to take advantage of all the benefits that Power BI Embedded brings, but we no longer have to worry about all those, you know, the costs and the negative uh, things that were often associated with Power BI Embedded. So again, hope that helped. I'll put links below to help uh, guide you with any of the information that you might want to look into following this video. But by all means, if you would like to know more, please get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. <laughs>